Hey, what is up guys? It is Phantom here and welcome back to a brand new video guys. So in today's video I'm gonna be bringing you guys my top 10 list for my top 10 mounts in the game of my opinion of my choosing of course guys So I know what you're thinking, right? I, I have telepathic ability. I mentioned this in a video prior, but I know what you're thinking I've done a video on this before I had done a top 10 mounts list video, but I was looking back at it recently and I discovered, well, not really discovered, I mean, it's been there since the very start, but shut up, NPCs. But I discovered that the list wasn't actually very accurate to my favorite mounts. At least it was at the time when I made it, which, you know, obviously it made sense to make that video at that point. But I feel like I should just do a little bit of an update, guys, because I just don't think it's very accurate to my personal favorite mounts. And I don't know, maybe this could be entertaining for some people. Maybe I could give you some insight on what mounts to go for. Maybe you'll agree with me with some of my choices, guys. But anyways, mounts, very important part of the game. Obviously, you cannot get around without a mount, or, well, you could, but I just think, it, I don't know, that'd be pretty difficult, but anyways, guys, let's get into the first mount here, going on to number 10. So, coming in at number 10, everyone, I put The Rock. Now, honestly, I feel like a lot of people aren't going to agree with me for this executive decision I've made here, but <laughs> in my opinion, The Rock is honestly a really, really cool mount. Really, the thing that I most like about it, besides it obviously giving, where's the stats, obviously it giving 3% power pip, uh, it is quite a loud mount, I will say. The sound effects, they, uh, they're definitely updated, if I do say so myself, but I think it is a pretty nice mount, mount. and besides the fact that it does give 3% power pip, which honestly can be useful in a lot of situations, this mount, I believe also it comes from the Sinbad Horde Pack, I'm pretty sure, in the Crown Shop. I, I think that's what it comes from. I really hope I'm not getting that wrong and misleading people, but I'm pretty sure it comes from the Sinbad Horde Pack, it is the mount from there. Honestly, I just like how updated, how textured, how just advanced this mount is, like, like, just the animations, I guess, just how, I don't know, how the birds cluck and stuff and, like, interact with each other. I think that's really cool, in my opinion. I think the mount itself just looks awesome, even though it definitely it definitely doesn't look like a staple mount for most wizards. But I feel like, I don't know, I just like the way it moves. I just, I like everything about it, honestly. It just, it's such an interesting mount. It's just, like, I don't even know what creature, I mean, obviously, it's a, it's a rock. Yeah, I get, okay, I'm gonna get comments about that, but... It's just such a unique creature, I don't know, and I feel like we haven't seen something that really looks like this very often. I think it's a really, really unique mount, too. And honestly, just its updated textures, its updated animations just make for, honestly, just a really awesome mount, in my opinion. Anyways, that's really all for the rock. There's no real nostalgic memory I have attached to this thing. Not too many memories since the Sinbad Horde Pack came out not too long ago, but definitely a really, really awesome mount. Really, really updated. It honestly shows how far we've come from mounts, you know, in this game and how they've updated and stuff like that. I just really like this mount. It's, it's one of my favorites, definitely. That's why it's on this list. Anyways, guys, let's move on to the next mount. Coming up next, everyone, is going to be the Raven mount. I feel like this one was a bit unexpected because, let's be honest, this mount is old as fuck. <laughs> this is a really, really fucking old mount, and the reason why I'm showing this off to you in my Wizard's Watchtower house here is because I actually had to go here to retrieve it because this is my first house that I've ever bought which probably tells you something about the mount's age. I mean, it's pretty fucking old, like I mentioned. So, this is my Wizard's Watchtower. It is the first house I ever made, and I actually had to come here to retrieve this mount because it's just... <laughs> it's old as shit. I, I, it's just so old. The Raven's Horde Pack was, I think, one of the first packs to be introduced in the game, and I think, actually, right now, it might be in the Crown Shop. Yeah, the Super Raven's Horde Pack is actually out right now. Really weird coincidence, but this is the first mount that I ac actually ever got, fun fact. And honestly, there's nothing too special about it. It is just a raven. I mean, it's got some nice, like, wind sound effects to it whenever it, like, flaps its wings and everything. I think it's overall, it's a pretty decent looking mount. Like, there's obviously worse looking mounts in the game than this. However, I just don't think, I don't think it's the most advanced mount. But the reason why it comes in at number 9 here is because of the sentimental value that it holds. So this is the first permanent mount that I ever got. I remember just opening up the crown shop one day. I had, like, convinced my mom to buy me some crowns and everything. I'm sure so many people can relate to that, but I decided to open up the Raven's Horde Pack, not the Super Raven's Horde Pack, which actually does give you a higher chance of getting both the Raven mounts. I opened the regular one back when the regular one was actually a thing, and I bought it. And a few packs, it only took a few packs, I remember this so distinctly, how it stuck in my mind. I honestly, at this point, I was pretty new to the game, and I didn't even think permanent mounts existed. You know, it's got some cool animations to it, but... I didn't even know permanent mounts existed, and when I got this, it just said Raven Perm, and I'm like, wait a minute, does that mean I get it forever? Because up until that point, I was using like one day mounts that I would farm for the cr or that I that I would farm the Kraken for, and honestly, that's really crazy to think about. But this was definitely it was the first mount that I ever got. Yeah, I don't know, crazy times, honestly, crazy times. Lots of nostalgic and sentimental value with this one. This mount will always remain special to me. It will always remain in my heart. 
Honestly, I can't believe I didn't put it on the list in my first video, seriously, because the memories with this guy are insane. I guess I kind of just forgot about him because he's just been laying here so long, but this is the Raven, everyone. Classic mount, honestly, just in my opinion. No one's out, no one else is going to share this, but you definitely deserve the number nine spot, guys. Anyways, let's move on to the next one. Coming up next is going to be the all-time Christmas classic, the Winter Treant, guys. This guy, <laughs> this guy is just awesome. Honestly, just has some really cool animations to him for the time that he came out because this mount is very, very old. He was available, I believe, in the first Yuletide pack ever released. There's been many, many different versions of the Yuletide pack since then, but he's available, still available in the first one, so you can you can definitely get him. And I actually just realized I probably have multiple of these guys on one account, uh, <laughs> I, but I, I guess I just decided to come to my ice for some reason, even though I have gotten this mount multiple times. Honestly, it's not that rare. I mean, you don't see that many people rocking it, but it ain't that rare. And honestly, this mount, I mean... <laughs> You're just on a walking tree. I don't know. Something about that's just hilarious to me. But I really, really love the whole winter Christmas tree vibes he's got going on here. I don't know. I think it works really, really well with this sort of tree and mount. I think there's other mounts just like this in the crown shop. Where are they? If I just search. Yeah, there's this willow walker, which honestly looks incredible. I really, really like that. So that's a version of the tree ant. There's also the actual tree ant. Uh, yeah, this one, which I mean, also a classic. But the winter one, honestly, how he's kind of just styled to look like a Christmas tree is just awesome and I have a lot of memories with him just because I got him so long ago in a Yuletide pack that you know he really does mean a lot to me he, he really does mean a lot this guy this guy has been my companion for quite some time now he has always just been a classic to me just a Christmas classic when I first opened him I remember I was pretty surprised because I'm gonna be honest you know being the little dumb kid I was I didn't really know permanent mounts could be in Christmas packs I know kind of similar to the Raven story except it wasn't my first mount I actually had a few mounts since then but this one, I got it, and I was like, whoa. Like, this this guy's a beast, you know? This guy's a fucking beast. I don't know, guys. Winter Trent, Treant. God, I still, <laughs> I still don't know how to say the name, but you definitely deserve this spot, guys. Anyways, let's move on to the next mount. Coming up next on the list, we have the Cloud Wyvern. And this guy, God, I remember exactly how I got him. And I'll, actually, if I do remember correctly, I did just recently watch my other mounts video, but if you could check that out if you want, guys, by the way. I... I don't know, I'm a very different person since that video was uploaded, but I remember that I put the I put this mount actually behind the tree and I put the tree in ahead of this mount, so like this mount was like number eight and the tree was number seven. Yeah, honestly, I'm gonna switch the positions because this guy I just feel like is a bit more awesome. Like I I don't know, he's a fucking wyvern. Like that's just I I, I mean that's awesome. This is obviously my personal favorite variant of all the wyverns. There is many wyvern mounts. There's a red one, there's a green one, there's a yellow one, there's a purple one too, I think? I might even be missing some because there's just so many little variants of these guys. These guys are just awesome. This white one though, this white and blue one, the Cloud Wyvern is always going to be my favorite. Honestly, just such an awesome mount. Literally, I remember exactly how I got this guy. So he was in the Wyvern Sword back, obviously. He was in the Wyvern Sword back in the Crouch Out, which is no longer available, by the way, which sucks. And I remember I was going for energy gear on my fire not knowing, well, I knew there was mounts in this pack, but obviously I didn't think I would get any of them. But I believe I opened up this mount as well as the gold wyvern in like 10k crowns. And that might sound like a lot, but honestly, that's that's pretty good luck for me compared to my luck right now. I mean, in the past, I guess I've had better luck, which I don't know. It just says a lot about my wizard, I suppose. But I was going for the green warden energy gear because I wanted to start like hardcore gardening on my fire. This was a while ago, by the way. I definitely got this mount probably five or six years ago i'm guessing it's a pretty old mount still honestly a little bit more rare too since the pack's no longer in the crown shop but this mount it just looks awesome and i remember just opening up packs for energy gear trying to get that energy set you know the grind guys but i got this by accident it wasn't even going for it, it was didn't even mean to but i did not realize how cool it would be seriously a really great mount it's it's white honestly the white mounts in this game look awesome and We'll probably get to a few more on this list, maybe, perhaps. I don't know. I haven't actually planned the video out that much yet. But the Cloud Wyvern, I had to include him. I included him last time. And, you know, he's just... I don't know. He's just a great mount. He's just a great mount. Great animations. Great little style and everything. And now you can no longer get him because <laughs> the pack's gone. Although they probably will have some bundles in the crown shop for either the pack or definitely the mounts themselves. So you guys will probably get a chance. I know this is actually a mount that a lot of people search for. I think this is pretty highly searched for. Even though, obviously, it's not available anymore, but back then, like, this was kind of the thing to have. These Wyvern mounts were sick, guys. Anyways, let's move on to the next mount. Coming up next, we have another classic used by 
Wizards all across the spiral, we have the Battle Narwhal. This guy, this guy is fucking sick. Like, his appearance, his animation, the fucking 2% damage boost that he gives. It's just, oh my god, it's he's so cool. Honestly, really, really cool mount. We have got mounts similar to this one, definitely, like with the Grey Whale and... You know, there's probably some other fish mounts out there, I just can't think of them right now. Ancient Koi, stuff like that, like just water mounts. Honestly, we do need more water mounts if you ask me, because these guys, most of the time, they look fucking sick. Just this narwhal. Narwhals are like, honestly, one of my favorite creatures in the world, <laughs> if I'm not, if I'm being honest. And then you got one all saddled up with armor on it and everything, with an armored spike, you know? And of course, the 2% damage boost, but I won't get into that too much, but obviously that's really nice to have. This guy is sick, and I... I believe you can you can get him from the Polarian Explorer bundle, as well as you can, I think, fish for him in certain places. Yeah, I think he's dropped from fishing in certain places as well. So he's probably not that rare. I mean, he's not that rare of a mount, but he's just a really, really sick mount, honestly. <laughs> I just love him so much. He is, he's been my buddy on many, many wizards before the Gulcher pack even came out. There was this guy. Like, he was the only damage mount in the game. He was the OG. I think also... The mount from that one bundle, one of the newer ones, like the Battle Mage bundle or something like that, I think he gives damage as well, but this was the first damage mount I'm pretty sure that ever came out, and honestly, people were shocked by it. People were really, really shocked by it, but this mount, it just has so many good things about it. It just, the appearance is great, the animation, like the jump animation is one of my favorites in the game, just the little twirl over there. It's just so majestic, and everything about this mount is just so smooth. It just flows really, really nicely in my opinion, so anyways, that's really all for the Narwhal. Not too many memories to really touch on with this guy, except that I used him in questing on a lot of my wizards, which obviously was fun. He made it, he, he made for a fun time, you know, this is a very, very nice mount. You know, it's a very, very smooth, nice, I don't, I don't know how to describe it, guys. He's just fucking awesome. Anyways, let's move on to the next mount. Coming up next, everybody, we have the Himalayan Yak. I know, look at it. It's, it's fucking majestic. I, I love it so much. This guy, oh my god, I remember... <laughs> I think, let me actually just check real quick, because I think you can get him in the crowd shop, I'm pretty sure. He's not that Himalayan Yak. Yeah, you can get him from 7,500 crowns right there. I actually didn't buy him that way. I actually got this guy as a drop from Omen. Definitely one of the few mounts I actually got from him, because Omen just never likes to give me good drops, but, you know, that's okay. That's, that's fine, but the Himalayan Yak. What a majestic creature. Look at the way he chews on the air, guys. This is just the ultimate zen mount, in my opinion. Such such a interesting mount. This this mount, I think, is fairly old. and I, I'm pretty sure this mount is fairly old. It's been in the crowd shop, circulating over there for quite a while. Not many people actually rock this guy, and I believe he's actually new to this list, if we're comparing to the list from last video. This guy, very, very interesting design that they went with. I mean, <laughs> just a big furry yak. Like, I... I don't know though, like it's it's obviously like Mushu themed and everything with like the blossoms and just some Mushu garb. It just looks awesome. It, it's just like such a zen. He's got a, he's got that little, I don't know what to call it really, but he's got a bell. He's got that nose ring. I, that's probably not the right way of saying it. There's definitely a proper name for this sort of thing, but the Yak, honestly, I, th I, I really like its running animation. I think it has a really, really nice animation. Really, really smooth for how old this mount has actually, or how much, how much time this mount has actually been out. I, I don't know, I like how his hair bounces and everything. A pretty detailed mount. Honestly, guys, if I had to describe this mount in one phrase, he's just vibing, you know? he He's just straight vibing. Just look at him. He is so content with his life right now. And, you know, he's at peace, so I'm at peace, you know? Just a really, really peaceful mount. Honestly, if I see one, if I see a person just rocking this little, this little Zen master of a mount, I mean, what can I say? I gotta go up and say, I gotta go and say my blessings and everything. Just, just, just great. Just a really, a really calming mount, if that makes sense. I feel like a lot of people would not put this on the list, on, on their own list, but I think it's awesome. This is a high quality mount, in my opinion. King's Isle, you did go with the Himalayan Yak. I expect more stuff like this in the future, thank you very much. But anyways, <laughs> let's move on to the next mount, guys. Jesus Christ. Coming in at number four, everyone, I've got the Wolf of the Winter. This mount, honestly, compared to its Celestial Wolf counterpart, I kind of like this one more. I just, I don't know. I just think it has a better design that fits with probably more wizards. Celestial Wolf is great and all, and I know this is a reskin and that it, it came out second, not first. But like, guys, just look at this. Like, you're riding a freaking detailed ass white wolf. Like, I don't know. Also, it, it leaves like a, um, if you're paying attention here, it gives like, 
it leaves like a little snowy animation as well like a little like it's trudging through snow and everything i don't know that's really really awesome definitely in my opinion the best christmas mount i mean god this guy is just fucking epic i know that he he's kind of i don't know the drop rate for him is a bit low you can get him in the and i think not any of the christmas packs but you can definitely get them in a lot of the christmas packs i think that at least two of them definitely have the wolf of winter available guys if you want to go for it during christmas time but this guy honestly he's just insanely detailed i remember it took me a lot of crowds to get him he's just awesome he is he's really really awesome he's a fucking wolf what, what can you what can you do i mean he's got those he's got those bloodthirsty red eyes and everything i don't know he goes with a lot of my stitches personally I don't use him as much as I should, honestly, for the amount of crowns that I spent on him and the amount of time I wasted getting him. Just look at that howl, guys. He he is a true he's a true pup at heart, you know? <laughs> I really, really like him. He definitely one of the most detailed mounts in the game, hands down. Hands down, I not too many memories attached with him because honestly he came out only a few years ago and I haven't actually had him for that long. I, I believe I actually got him the second year he was available. Not the first, when he first came out, but I remember a lot of people wanted this one. This was like a pretty highly desired mount back then. Wolf of Winter, you are amazing. You are the best Christmas mount, in my opinion, hands down. No competition. It's literally just a wolf. Like, it's a, literally just a dire wolf. It's, it's amazing. I love it so much, guys. Anyways, let's move on to the next one. Now, okay, I get it. I might get some hate for this one. I mean, it was on my last list. It's on this list. And yeah, at number three, at least I think we're on number three, I'm gonna have to put the Gulcher, guys. Not necessarily the Fire Gulcher, I'm kind of just gonna put every single Gulcher mount here because, I'm gonna be honest, they all look pretty much the same besides like the color of the saddle and the colors of the wings and everything. They look pretty similar, they're all Gulchers, and honestly, in my opinion, I know this is, I, I feel like this is a little bit unpopular because I feel like a lot of people are not really on board with the Gulchers looks. I feel like a lot of people think it looks bad. I honestly really like the appearance of these mounts, and that's probably going to be an, un an unpopular opinion because, yeah, I just feel like none of them, no no one really shares that opinion. I I could be wrong. I, I mean, there could be some people out there that really like the Gulcher mounts. I know I do. I think their appearance, obviously, their little, their mirage look and everything, like their pack Gulcher and everything, looks really, really cool. And of course, I mean, how, how could we forget, you know, the pay to win? It, it gives three damage. I mean... <laughs> I mean, come on, look at that. It's, uh, it's pretty insane. Uh, they do give insane damage. They're, they're really, really helpful to have in combat and everything. And I make sure every time I go into combat, I have this guy equipped. Because honestly, 3% damage might not seem that like that much. But really, if it adds up, it, it can make all the difference sometimes. The Fire Gulcher, honestly, I do really, really like. It's definitely one of my favorites. I really just like the whole orange coloring and everything. It goes with my Stitch pretty well. I just like the looks. Honestly, I really like the looks of the Gulcher. I mean, I quest with him just a ton. Definitely the most useful mount in the game. I know I have a Gulcher for, I think, five of the schools. That's kind of insane when I think about it. I have definitely bought a lot of Gulcher packs in my day, okay, guys? Do not do not judge me. I it's Just stop. <laughs> okay, but seriously, I, I know a lot of people aren't big fans of the looks of the Gulcher, but I definitely am. I am a huge fan. I think these look, I think these look pretty cool. They're definitely not the best looking mounts in the game, but for that 3% damage, just that 3% damage coupled with a pretty decent appearance, once again, my opinion, might get hate, it's okay. Just makes for an awesome mount, in my opinion, and yeah, that's why I put him here. Gulcher. <laughs> Go god, I'm just gonna get I'm just gonna get pay to win spam in the comments. It's fine, guys. Anyways, let's move on to number two. Coming in at the number two spot, we have the Crystal Unicorn. This guy has been through many of my wizards. Uh, most of them deleted, honestly, by now. He's just a really, really fun mount to quest on, honestly. And you know the stats that it give, two percent accuracy. It's not great, okay? It's not the greatest stat. I mean, sure, there's definitely better stats out there that you can get. Obviously, the Gulcher Mounts with their damage are definitely a lot better to have in combat and everything. But, you know, the 2% accuracy boost, it's nice. It's it's nice, but really what I like about this mount the most is the looks. Like, I know I'm pretty sure I had this at number one on my last list. And honestly, for good reason, I feel like it just didn't really make it this time around. I, there's just one mount that I just, that I just love. Honestly, one mount that I just really, really, really enjoy. But... This one, second most enjoyed, all right? It's it's still a pretty good spot. Just the fact that really the Jewel Crafters bundle, the bundle that it came in was honestly one of the best bundles in my opinion. The fact that it just came with this mount honestly was just icing on the cake for me. This thing looks awesome. It's just a crystal unicorn. It's so simple. That's what the name says. It's a crystal unicorn. 
They delivered. They delivered us a crystal unicorn. This is a crystal fucking unicorn. What I really, really like about this mount, obviously, its appearance, the, the whole crystal thing, I think it's absolutely fucking sick, okay? I, I really, really like it. But what I really love what they did with this mount is you can actually dye the colors to match your stitch, so it can go with whatever stitch you want. You can transfer it to multiple wizards to change the stitch however you like. I really, really like it. It's really, really versatile like that. You could just use it on any wizard. I mean, it's it's fucking amazing. It's it's just it's a really, really good mount. I... I enjoy it. If you guys can tell, I enjoy a lot of the mounts on this list. I pretty much enjoy all of them, but this one, the appearance is sick. It has some pretty cool animations. I mean, it did come out a while ago. Definitely a fairly old mount, but this one I feel like will never go out of style. Like, I'll always see wizards rocking this, just wherever I go. It's just one of those timeless mounts, in my opinion, that really could be used for any single school, and honestly, because of that, like, sort of versatility, I really, really think I should put it here, and yeah. <laughs> If you're watching this, that's what I did. <laughs> but yeah, guys, anyways, that's enough for the Crystal Unicorn. Really like the appearance. Honestly, some memories attached behind it. I remember redeeming, redeeming the Jewel Crafter bundle for the first time. That was really, really exciting, mainly because of this mount. This mount is just amazing looking. Anyways, let's move on to number one, guys. What do y'all think it could be? Coming in at number one, guys, we have the beautiful, all-powerful Heart of Darkness, guys. So I believe this guy is available in the Elven Nightmare Pack. Doesn't give any stat boosts, but just looks amazing. Really, this mount is just such an amazing take on the original white stag mount, which is obviously, even though it is a reskin, yes, I get it, it is a reskin, but it is one of the best reskins that I think they have ever done in this game. Obviously, you got the little red glow around it with the red horns, makes it look like some sort of demon. Really, really cool. Goes really, really well with my fire stitch. Honestly, it just goes so well with it that you've probably seen me rocking this guy in a lot of videos. Definitely a lot of videos I've had this guy in, really just because he's one of my staples. He is an amazing mount. Not the best animations, but that heart in the center, honestly, very, very advanced technology there. Good job, King's Isle. But Heart of Darkness, one of the most awesome mounts. Well, my favorite mount, at least in at this point in time. Maybe I'll make like another updated list for the next year. <laughs> honestly, hey, who knows? Who knows? But this guy, awesome. Really, really awesome mount. I remember opening up the Elven Nightmare Pack. It's obviously not in the Crown Shop right now because it's it's not Halloween, it's it's Summer Phantom. Why, why, why are you opening up the Crown Shop? What are, you, what are you doing? But this is available in the Elven Nightmare Pack during Halloween. I remember I got both amounts. I got the Light Heart and the Heart of Darkness, but this guy has always been my go-to. He really has for like such, such a long time. He's treated me really well. Really, really awesome mount. Really good for definitely, especially a Fire Wizard. I guess his colors are kind of balanced too, if you really, really think about it. But this guy's super... Honestly, I, I don't want to say unique because he he is a reskin. I I mean, what's what's less unique than that? But really, best reskin. Yeah, hands down. Honestly, one of the best, maybe the best reskin in this game. Honestly, haven't made up my mind on that yet. But really, really good reskin. They did a really, really good job with this thing. It goes with my wizard so well. And I will continue using it for a really, really long time because it just looks that awesome. I mean, that, that also, that beating heart. Like, that beating heart in the center. Do you guys see that? Like, that's... I don't know. That just looks awesome. Really, really great Halloween mount, in my opinion, guys. But anyways, that is going to be it for this list of the top 10 mounts, in my opinion. Top 10 best mounts in the game. Obviously, it's my opinion, and I know everyone has different experiences with different types of mounts, and, you know, obviously has different opinions, differing on the ways they look and, you know, everything about them. So let me know. Let me know your opinions in the comments down below. I don't know why I'm going so spastic with the mouse there. I'm sorry. That probably hurts your eyes, but... Anyways, that's going to be it for this video, guys. Make sure to let me know your opinions down below. I'd love to hear about all your special memories with your mounts and everything. Anyways, that's going to be it from me, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. You could leave a like if you did, or subscribe for more videos like this in the future. Honestly, thanks for all the support lately. Things have been absolutely bonkers, but <laughs> that's going to be all from me, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. I will see you guys next time. Take care, guys, and peace out.